Hi, my name is Dan Nagorski. I'm a physical therapist with Metro Physical Therapy. I work in our Comac location here on Long Island. Uh, what we're going to show you today is a quick video on how to do a couple of postural drainage techniques with some chest percussions. Uh, so for those who don't know, postural drainage and chest percussions are a great way of getting fluid out of your lungs. And the reason why we're showing you this is with the current climate and with COVID-19 going around, one of the serious complications from this virus is the development of fluid within the lungs. So we're trying to give you as many tools as we can as early as we can, so that way you can help keep your lungs safe, keep your lungs clear, and allow oxygen to get to the spots that it needs to get to. Um, so for the purpose of this video, we're going to show you three different techniques. A couple of precautions that we want to talk about first are, if you're going to do this, are showing some signs of a cough and are showing some signs of shortness of breath. Um, something else you want to make sure, you don't want to do this technique if you've been vomiting a lot, and you don't want to do it if you've eaten anything within one hour. Um, last thing we want to do is have you cough something up or vomit something up, causing an aspiration pneumonia, uh, and that would be bad. So we want to make sure we protect ourselves from doing anything like that. So for the recommended amount of time that we would do this technique for, um, if you have a partner that can do chest percussions on you, it's about two minutes for each position. If you don't have anybody to do chest percussions on you, that's okay. You can still do a, a position for about five minutes in total time. And that would be a great way to kind of get some fluid out of your lungs. Okay, so for our first position that we're showing, we're trying to work on the lower lungs. Uh, as you can see, we have Isabel on a nice downward slope here. Ideally, you want this end to be about 18 to 20 inches high, making sure that her waist is up a little bit as well, creating that nice slope. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna make a nice little C-shape like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna find that lower part of the rib cage on both sides. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna play the drums from this point. Don't be afraid to hit a little hard with the towel there. Okay, so you do this for two minutes straight. At the end of the two minutes, Isabel's gonna take a breath in and a breath out. And we're gonna do a little pressure down and a little shaking, okay? Good, so after that first position, Isabel's gonna come up. She's gonna try and cough out any fluids that she can, <coughs> okay? So the next position, Isabel's gonna flip over onto her back. So she's faced up, and then for this position, what we're gonna do is, again, we're gonna find the lower parts of the rib cage here, and with that C-shaped hand, you're just gonna go on either side, and you're gonna do your drumming, okay? So you do that for another two minutes straight. Sometimes it's easy to just get a timer rather than counting in your head. At the end, this belt's gonna take a breath in, and a breath out, and you're gonna give some pressure down, squeak and a little shaking, Okay, so again, done with that position, she's gonna come up and she's gonna try and cough out any <coughs> fluid that has now drained out of her lungs. For the last position we're gonna show you, she's gonna turn onto her right side. We're gonna get the arm up and overhead and she's gonna quarter turn just a little bit towards me. Okay, so you go on the side of her body, you're gonna find where that rib cage is. Again, with that C-shaped hand, you're gonna hit down on the ribs for about two minutes. Okay, two minutes are up. Gonna breathe in, breathe out, a little pressure down, a little shaking. And then after that position is done, you're gonna come on up <coughs> and cough it all out. Okay, thank you, Isabel. Um, for your convenience, what we decided to do is we posted a link on our website that shows you all of these positions. So you're able to actually take a look at them and review them yourself. Uh, if you want a little bit more one-on-one -on -one personalized attention or treatments, uh, our therapists are all trained and qualified to show you this via telehealth. Uh, so what that means is, is that we would just contact you, be able to show you everything one-on-one -on -one, through the phone or through a computer, uh, allowing you to just drain your, drain your lungs and keep your lungs healthy from the convenience of your own home. If you have any questions, please contact us at Metro Physical Therapy. We're always happy to help. Thank you guys very much and stay safe.